Greetings all, it's Wandering Scott here, and it's time for another episode of Gypsy Caravan Project update number 11 or so. Um, let's see here, I'm going to show you where I'm at, if I can turn this around. Okay, so here's where I am right now. As you can see, I've got the top section all done with windows and I've got doors on there I got it all painted up the roof is all finished uh, let me get up closer here I'll show you how my doors work here so it's got two sections obviously um, this top section here we got a deadbolt and a catch there's a ball catch right here uh, big heavy-duty um, deadbolt lock it goes into the side right here there's the ball catch and a big slot for the uh, dead bowl they got some insulation little uh, uh, whatever that is that uh, rubber stuff on there I put some of the fuzzy stuff along the top and the bottom there to seal the two sections with a little piece of trim along here this bottom section opens the other direction and it's got a nice little uh, uh, for the bottom section of course I needed to have um, nothing I need clearance here so I couldn't have any uh, sort of a handle or anything sticking out so this has got a you know this is an RV door inset and I, I actually made it so it's a little uh, further inset and then on the back it's just got a nice little catch here with a handle to pull on and an extra second uh, deadbolt little deadbolt there so he's got two actually got two locks on it there and there's the, the door inset uh, for the latch catch and as you can see down here I've got some I've got some uh, vinyl tile in now um, all the way back there that's my table over there so I just need to I'm gonna put a track along here and I need to build a little leg for it and put in some there'll be some railing um, uh, down here that this will, that table will set on to make a flat surface for the bed um, but anyway let me get back to the door here you see I got a little porthole in there and um, these are just poles so I can you know pull the door closed um, and then this top section um, has this little fun oh, let me close this one um, this top section has this funky little looks like a doorbell <laughs> It's actually a magnet that goes on to this is like um, it's like a little hat hat rack or a coat hanger or whatever but when you um, open the door it'll just uh, it uh, catches right onto that and holds it holds it on so um, it won't the wind won't blow it closed uh, which happened to me a number of times so uh, anyway so um, let's see then I got yeah again I got my windows up here these are what is it 48 48 by 22 inch windows um, with it you know sliding you know opening half of it's got screen in it so it's about a two foot square opening on each one and every side's got one uh, I have got a still got to trim off my little tape here uh, sort of expands over a few days and squishes out so I've trimmed it off a couple times but Eventually that'll settle down. Um, so I'll finish trimming that off and uh, let's see, we get around over here. Yeah, there's the front one right there. And uh, again, I'll put my solar panels up there, but um, I think that's pretty self explanatory for the door. I've just got, you know, I put a little uh, trim on here with an overhang. And again, there's some insulation um i don't know if you can see the sun's pretty it's late in the day it's kind of low sun right now but there's some of that uh, rubber insulation right in here and that seats it up right up against the the wall and seals it closed again i've got the fuzzy stuff in between underneath so that keeps the draft i've got a little space right here i need to right in this Area here, I need to do something about. I guess I need to put another extension of that fuzzy stuff across there. Got my little coca pelle up there, getting ready to go do some travels. And uh, let's see here, open this up. 
And I'll show you the windows from the inside here. So the kitchen windows right there and every one of these windows has a cordless blind above it. I'll show you the back section here. Each one of those and then so these just uh, pull down. So those are cordless. They're the uh, cellular shade. I don't know if you can see here. That's going to be hard to see but uh, try and get over here. Where the light's better. It's hard to see. Anyway, uh, let me get some that is actually really hard to see. Okay, so anyway, here you can kind of see that's got that uh, it's that open cellular um, fabric which catches air, so that actually helps to insulate better. Um, of course, you know, stops the sun and everything. But um, and then the nice thing about this is you just push up on them; they just go up. There's no um, so if you can do that where you can actually see it. All right, it's, uh, so pull down, goes down as far as you want, and then you just push up on it and it just stays up. There's no cords or anything. So the cool thing about this is with the top going down, if you put the um, if you put the blinds down and then you lower the roof with the blinds actually down, it'll just close the blinds. The blinds just go up or as the they they close automatically as the top comes down. So you never need to really worry about whether the blinds are up or down when you go traveling. And then over here, you can see I've got um, I've got a map on the wall here, getting ready to go. It's laminated, it's a National Geographic map of the United States. And it's um, got kind of little, cool little corner things, decorative corner things, but I put it up with Velcro. So I can just peel it off and, um, uh, Put it down on my table and do some drawing on it. I'll just keep a little uh, running line of all the places I'm going to go visit over the course of the next who knows how long. Uh, so I'm getting along. I've still got obviously a lot of details. I've still got to do all my solar and uh, water propane. And then I've actually got a laminate to put on top of this melamine. Um, which is similar, it looks a bit similar to that table, kind of went with a stone slate kind of look for the floor and the table there. And this is a foam core, I got this from RB Pro. It's a foam core, so it's pretty light. Um, and of course that'll go here. Um, so I've still got that to do and then i got to make some cushions. Uh, yeah, so, but it's coming along. Uh, functionally, I'm pretty close to being done with building it. Um, I'm gonna make some little uh, magazine book kind of slots here where that space is uh, left over from where the the lifts are. I'm just gonna make some little magazine rack kind of a, uh, slots to go over there where I can put my maps and travel books and stuff while I'm sitting there uh, looking at deciding where I'm gonna go next. So, uh, okay, so that's anyway, that's, um, yeah, that's windows, doors. It's, oh, here, I'll show you what the do doors look like from the inside. Um, and so that's what this little, this little catch right here is for when you're inside and you want to be able to, well, except now with the magnet, I guess I can't do that, can I? That's, re well, that's a really good magnet. Okay, that's the first time I've actually tried that. So, all right, so I'm going to have to go out and undo the magnet, I guess. That is interesting. Okay, I'm going to have to think about that plan. So that closes, that closes, and then if you back off here, you can see... That is what the door looks like from the inside. Um, it's got a kick plate at the bottom I put in there. And um, again, I put a trim piece across here. This is lower um, because the reason um, I did, I was going to make it, you know, even obviously, but, um, but it needed to be lower so when the top is down, you can actually still open both doors. And because the uh, top door is curved, um, I, I have, you know, this section here where it's curved is obviously too narrow. Um, so I had to put this door down a little lower, but that's fine because, um, you know, it's a, it's sealed right there and, um, it actually makes it kind of cool. I think, I don't know, it gives it a little, uh, uh, asymmetry or something anyway. So, and then this inside has a deadbolt lock on it here. It actually has a latch that you can turn but uh, it's just not enough 
space between here so i just put the other there's a lock on both sides so you just push it open the ball catch keeps it closed so just have to use a key to lock it um, at the end of the day at night whatever um, of course i can lock it from outside but if i'm inside and i want to lock it um, i do have that still but um, it just was a little bit too too tight it was going to scrape right up against there so i might see if i can finagle something else with just a little latch for that but uh, uh, otherwise it works okay so come a little porthole so i can see outside see if anybody's here and like i said just push it open and then the magnet which is a really strong magnet apparently i guess i just put it on so yeah that's actually so strong i can't even pull it so well anyway okay so that is um that's where i'm at so both of these doors open in opposite directions which is a little bit kind of strange i know but uh yeah, it was just because if I had both doors open the same, this door would actually hit this one. And you can actually open this farther, you know, that far. So whereas if it was on this side, it would it would only go out, you know, this far. You know, and the only difference that makes is just because of the amount of, like, if it's only clo open this way, you lose two inches of clearance for your door here. So, you know, you don't get a, a great deal more, but... Um, it just makes the door opening a little wider on the bottom. And of course, if you notice the bottom door, uh, the bottom door here is 22 inches. I think I ended up 20, 23 inches, maybe something like that. Um, and the trim is on the walls, not on the door for the bottom, but you'll see the top section of course is wider and the trim is actually on the door instead of the wall. So the top, because the bottom needed to be narrower because of my cabinets uh i needed that space for my uh, cabinet work but of course the top has no cabinets so i didn't need that space but if the way i have the um the way i have the trim on there it makes it look like the door is the same size top and bottom it's it, it lines up so even though the top door is technically opening is is uh like almost it's five five and a half inches wider or something like that than the bottom section so anyway uh okay yeah, painted a nice uh, boat, uh, boat marine boat paint with the maroon red just to give it a little uh, extra flair. Um, so anyway, um, that is my progress for now. The next steps are to put my table in and make some cushions, finish that interior off, and then I'm going to start in on the, probably I'll do the water first. So I need to get my water pump and stuff in so I can hook the electrical up when I start working on my um, electrical system. But uh, that's that's the Gypsy Caravan project for now. Sorry, the sun's a little crazy right now. It's getting late in the day, but uh, hopefully you can see that all right. Uh, but anyway, I'll uh, give you another update when I get something else done to show you. Uh, take care. Bye.